high school was closed to consolidate. Uh, there was a movement uh, by the Board of Education and, and uh, citizens of Bladenboro and Bladen County to close all of the smaller high schools and consolidate them into one high school. We didn't have our school anymore. We lost a lot. We hated to lose our school. We fought for it, but we didn't. We, we fought for it twice. We won the first time, but the second time we didn't. Help me took our high school away from us, the way I feel about it. I mean, we needed it in our town, and all small towns need their schools. Um, I think there was a sense of pride and, and the feeling that this was our school. This was the Bladenboro School, as opposed to a um, more generic name like West or East or South. Or, you know, it's, it's still our school, but it isn't as personal as it was when it was all here. We were going to consolidate schools. There's precious little we could do to combat it. So there was certainly no funding available from the county uh, on, on that scope. It had to be state money. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. I didn't want it. Um, I could understand why they wanted it, because they talked of all these great things that would be available for our kids, but um, I don't see it. And um, I wanted it to stay small. I wanted my, ch my daughter to have some of the same experiences that I had and have the good memories that I had. It was sort of bad that we didn't have our school anymore. We lost a lot, you know, when you've got a school in the community that you're dealing with. It's, um, it's a good activity. There was outcry because um, look what they're doing to us. They're, they're going to take our school away. Sadness that it, it has happened. You know, it, it's a done deal and it's... It is gone, and uh, we aren't going to get it back. The general spirit of the town disappeared with the school. I was very sad. I did not vote for it. I did not want it. Um, I miss it. My daughter misses it, even though she never experienced it. She misses it. She, she was kind of lost when she first started high school. She wanted to come back here to the middle school um, because everybody was closer, the numbers were smaller. It was hard. It was an adjustment for her. She's okay now, but as a freshman, it was very hard. Big's always better, according to them. <laughs> and big is good. You have a lot of opportunities that you don't have with the smaller schools. But on the other hand, you get a lot more hands-on activities with the smaller schools. They lost the um, impact of the small school. You know, with the small school, you know everybody. and. Um, and, and the faculty knew the families, the, the students, parents, et cetera, and that's always good. I think, I mean, I think there is more opportunities, but I think the numbers are too big. I think the numbers are too big and the relationships aren't there with the students and with the um, teachers. I don't think the relationships are there like the relationships that we had. The classes are too large. I think they need more teachers. I think they need more space. I don't think they have enough space, even though the, the high schools are big. I don't think they're big enough if you're going to have all those many people in there. Of course, you know, we know that change is inevitable. Uh, few things can remain eternally as they are or were. Uh, but there was, there was still some sadness. And, uh, uh, you know, sometimes we want things that aren't practical for us. And uh, maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe you've heard people say uh, when something new is proposed, we ain't never done it that way before. You know, that's a human feeling, I suppose, that people have. I don't know that it would be a truism that, that every town should have its own school. 
But uh, where practical, I think there are advantages to it. Again, because, you know, you can say it's our school. And uh, I suppose that, that pride in something uh, generates um, uh, more willingness to work in it or for it than if you don't have pride in it. And the high school is now consolidated into a school with, uh, it's called West Bladen High School. And this is now the Bladenburg Middle School, but we're still the Bulldogs. We've had a really good group of young boys. Um, they did win the um, state championship in basketball. Um, they were able to get their championship rings. School got behind them and they got their championship rings. And um, I think that's the first time in, first time ever, wasn't it, that the Knights had won a state championship in basketball? Um, so that was good, that was great. Um, and I think that kind of helped get the school spirit up a little bit. 20 years from now they can expect a thriving community with uh, Civil or civic activities, um, family, family activities, a place where you can buy your groceries, shop for dry goods, and work a, a decent, good-paying job. Came back and started teaching here in Blamer High School. The principal who was here when I was a high school student hired me as a teacher. Very grateful for that. That that is happening now uh, with some of our people that have uh, grew up in Bladenboro, they left and, and did things in other parts of the United States and even the world. And some of those are beginning to come back. And that's, that's some of the emphasis on Bustaboro. They remember what it was when they grew up here and they have been off and now they are wanting to come back. Um, I see it becoming a bedroom community for large industry that may come into the area. So. But I see Blamer growing. And uh, I think that uh, if a, a family wants to choose a place to come and live and, and drive 15 to 20 or 30 miles to work, this is a great place. It's been a wonderful life in Bladenburg. Enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, people remark that, uh, Eddie, you never missed school. <laughs> And I didn't. I think I missed three days in 39 years. So it was, I, I really enjoyed my work here with the uh, faculties and with the students. Loved them all. The Bladen Brother town of wonderful people. The best of the small towns. I came to Bladen and I don't want to go anywhere else.